Always playing a song when I miss you. 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 Good morning, y'all. It's your girl Lil Lala. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it is super early. I think it's like I think it just hit seven o'clock. I've been up since five something. But this is the time I get up. And I work on my things. I read. I'm about to get ready to go to the gym right now. I'm trying to find this book. I don't know what I do with it. But, like, real talk, y'all. I haven't been in the best shape mentally. Like, I'm in a stage of healing. I wouldn't even say I'm in a vulnerable state. I'm just in a stage of healing. Like, I know what I want to do. I know what I need to do. I, I put the work in. But yesterday was literally the first day ever that I just did nothing. And I feel bad about it. Like, I don't know if my story will help anybody, but I figured whoever is going through stuff, this could help you guys, you know? Like, I know me personally, when I'm going through stuff, I don't like to talk about my emotions. I don't, I don't like, to me, I don't like showing any sign of weakness. And that's something I can meet about myself. Like. I just, I just don't like to seem weak in front of people. I don't like to cry in front of people. I don't like to admit when I'm struggling. I hate to ask for help. I've been getting better at it, but I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I'm a work in progress, man. Like, you get to a certain point in life where you hit like a reality with a lot of things, you know, and. I think that's the stage I'm in right now. Like like I said, I'm super uncomfortable. I know everything happening for a reason and and like all of this has helped me to build my character and even though I don't understand it completely now, I know that where I'm gonna be at, I'm gonna be proud of myself for getting up and doing what I'm doing. Cause when I get up early and do these vlogs, I don't be in the best mood all the time. And I get up every day like this at the same time. I have my days where I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to go to the gym. I just don't feel like reading. I get lazy sometimes. I'm, I'm not going to sit up and, and call myself Miss Perfect. Like, even though I keep a positive mindset about things, I'm still human too. I might seem like I'm the most happiest and sweetest girl on the outside. And excuse my now. I need to get them done. I broke them. But I might seem like the most happiest girl on the outside. But life hits me just as hard, too. I just have a more positive look on things. Which is nothing wrong with that. But, you know, on the, on the other side, do take care of your mental health, you know. And I broke down really bad yesterday. Just, just about everything as far as, like, my grandfather and my mom. My own stresses. My own, I'm, like, one of my own biggest critics. Now, that's, like, it goes both ways, honestly. Like, it's pot, like it's good in a, in a way. It, dry, it pushes me beyond my comfort zone. It helps me to grow. It helps me to do things that I thought I would never, ever do. And I like that about myself. But then on the plus side, sometimes I am a little bit too hard on myself. And that's why I feel like I want to share this with you guys. I feel maybe I could help somebody you know like and if you are going through mental issues right now with anybody like you're just not in your right not even not even your right mind like depressed or you haven't feeling about feeling like yourself because I haven't been feeling like myself at all I keep myself busy but I never just sit down and take the time to talk and get those feelings out like I've been working on it so I feel like in my healing process the fact that I recognize it and I'm open, opening up to it and taking the initiative and trying to work on it, that's like progress, you know? At one point, I didn't even, I didn't talk about it. I dealt with it on my own. So, yeah, this rough success, man, it's not easy. It's not. I got my own, I don't even say demons, just my own struggles I got to deal with and a lot of people, I'm sure that's tuning in right now, like, you do realize a lot of stuff, like, I might seem young, but at 18, 
that's when a lot of stuff hits you with reality, you know? Like, how do I explain it? Like, you just come to a lot of realizations and some stuff, like, especially with death and stuff, like, no matter what you do, there's really nothing that fixes it. But, I'm not even just saying it's just to discourage you or, oh, I'm going to just feel sad forever. Oh, I'm going to give up or, uh, I just, I don't honestly let my, my sadness, I hate to feel like my, my sadness is, or my sorrow, I would never allow myself to have that as an excuse, like, this is why I can't be successful, I'm not feeling good, I'm, I'm depressed or whatever, and I just can't do it, but on the other note of that, like, do take care of yourself. Do give yourself some days. Like, I realize I really need to set aside some days for myself to just relax. And I feel bad about it. Like, you're not lazy. You're not still trying hard. You're not putting work in because you chose to just relax for a day. Taking care of yourself and getting to that road of success is also taking care of yourself in all aspects. Mentally, physically, spiritually. I've been praying more. I've been making sure I stay with my family more. I was on this quick pace lifestyle not too long ago, just with everything I'm doing, just quick to do something. Like I hated to stay in the house because I had to deal with the feelings I got associated with the house. You know, like a lot of things feel different here, you know? And with this time that I'm usually up, actually, I'll share this with you guys. Like this is the time I would usually go up the stairs and I remember his whole routine, like when he was alive and stuff. All the times I go upstairs to this day is when I would go up there and talk to him. A lot of people don't know that, but I'm willing to open up to you guys, to all of my supporters, and throughout my whole journey, I will always let y'all know realistically what the heck is going on in my head, what the heck is going on with a situation that that I'm supposedly put in Cause this stuff gonna happen you know and i want to always be completely honest with you guys and keep you guys informed um the moving process come along pretty good i'll have a video where i release when i'm leaving and then I, like i said i do a vlog on the way there and the steps that we're taking like right now we took all the pictures down and I'm, I'm working on a lot of stuff. About to have another full, a full-time job for once. While I got a dream, you got to make sure you can fuel your dream, you know? Like, I'm sorry. Y'all probably like, should keep saying, you know, I'm going to stop saying it. <laughs> but, like, when you got a dream, though, don't get me wrong. You got to be smart about it, too. You just can't jump into it and, oh, I'm going to put my all into it. Don't get me wrong. Put your all into it. But you won't get nowhere unless you invest in yourself, you know? Look, I said, you know, again. <laughs> All right. But when you want to ex excel, you want to elevate, and this is how I know I'm in a healing process. I'm still figuring out a lot of stuff. I'm 18, I'm mature, but at the same time, I don't know all the life's lessons, you know? Some things I have to honestly just, you know, it's life. I got to live and learn with some things, and I'm starting to get to better times with that. I have, I'm po I have a positive and optimistic look about things, but I'm human too. Like, the things I go through ain't the easiest. Mom's been on my mind, Pop's been on my mind, a few other people, some aunts I lost been on my mind, cousin been on my mind that passed away all within this two year span. Like, it's a lot going on with me mentally, but I'm not letting it deter me from what I want. And I can confidently say when I want something, I'm going to get it. And I want all you guys to have that mentality too. Like, if anybody's depressed right now or even, like, suicidal. Me, personally, I'm not suicidal, but I ain't going to lie. I've been, I've been in, like, a depressive type state. I wouldn't say I'm depressed, but, you know, I'm just... I'm just trying to really do things in a more healthier way, manage my feelings in a healthier way, get those feelings out. Like, especially um, any men that's watching this or boys, like, it's talk about your feelings, man. You're not weak. 
that's something I'm coming to a conclusion about. Like, you're not weak for talking about your feelings. You're not weak for being human, you know? And by real talk, I want everybody, including myself, to stop being so hard on yourself. It's okay to have your rest days. It's okay to have a moment where you just don't do nothing. Does that mean you lazy? Does that mean you never going to get to the point that you're trying to be at in life? No. But your mental health is just as important. If you're not good up here mentally, if you're not taking care of yourself emotionally, you're not taking care of yourself spiritually, whatever that may be, whatever your beliefs are, whatever you feel like is spiritually helping you do it, whatever you feel like is helping you physically and emotionally, as long as it's in a healthy way, do it. Like, I ain't knocking nobody, not, and I'm never going to... Go, like, get on somebody that got different beliefs than me. Like, I respect everybody's beliefs as long as it's healthy, you know? I'm, I'm not going to sit up here and condone something that's that's ultimately bringing you down when you're close to me. I'm, all the people that's in my life know this. I'll speak up about it. But take care of yourself, man. And as far as, like, manifesting, it's, like, it's just crazy how everything that I'm doing right now is all the stuff I aspired to do years ago. Like I said, it was just wasn't the right time. Everything is about timing. And I feel like this period that I'm going through in my life right now, I feel like it's a test, honestly. And I feel like all of this is happening because I need to heal properly. Like I just honestly take a lot of time to sit back and reflect some days. Like, I, like yesterday, I actually let myself feel what I've been feeling. Because I kept it on the inside. Like I said, I don't like to feel weak. I don't like to express them emotions. And I'm going to just always be real and 100 with y'all about everything that's going through my mind. Am I saying I'm giving up because of how I'm feeling? No. But I make sure I take care of a mirror completely. Whoever it is watching this, take care of yourself completely. You need some alone time, do that. You don't need to talk to some certain people, don't do that. You need to cut some people out or cut some things out that you thought was helpful, but not really do that. Whatever makes you happy, but as far as manifestation too, I seen this post. It was by this guy, I forget his name, and he has this tax company called Jumpin' Jack Taxes, I believe. I've been following him for a while. I forgot his name. I'm going to tag him though. He'll, I'll actually put his Instagram in my link in my, uh, my link, my description below. And it really opened up my mind. Like, so, I'm going to tell y'all this. So, he was, he was talking about the mindset, how powerful our mind is. As I get, as I get older, yes, I'm 18, but I really evaluate things a lot. I'm, I'm a big observer. I take in information all the time. I'm reading, I'm watching videos. I study this music industry every day in some form or way. It might seem like it's just an interview. It might just seem like it's just some drama going on. I don't really care for blog sites like that. I don't, but I'm studying what I should and shouldn't do. Uh, but I also know everything I do ain't gonna be perfect. No matter how much I study something, I'm not gonna be prepared for everything, but that's where my mindset comes into play where I'm okay with taking them L's. And these not just L's, like losses. These L's is lessons. Because everything you go through in life is a lesson. Sometimes we do need to learn lessons the hard way. But we shouldn't beat ourselves up about it. Like, it's okay, we human, we make mistakes, but get right back up. How can you grow if you don't make mistakes? These lessons that we learn that feels like failures never last forever. So you're going to sit there on your butt and blame that one failure that seems to your eye as that's the end of the world. When literally that failure, that failure, which is really a lesson, your know, blessing in disguise, taught you something. It's up to you, though, to sit there and evaluate it and push yourself to get to that point. Because that failure right there that seems to be in your eyes ultimately pushed you to get where you wanted to be. That failure ultimately made you sit back and think about, oh, okay, let me do it this way. So next time, I know how I should go about it. 
Like, that's honestly, like, what I've been going through lately, lately and it's crazy. But back to what I was talking about with this um, Jumpin' Jack's tax company that, um, I, like, I literally, I can't believe I forgot his name. I can't believe I forgot his name, but all dealing with mindset. He made a post a while ago, and this is when he was around my age, actually, or possibly, yeah, around my age, somewhere around my age, probably a few years older, possibly. But it was all about his mindset. Mentally, he made himself a millionaire. And I found that so interesting with how powerful our mind is. Like he said, mentally, I am a millionaire. And actually, I'm going to make it pop up on the screen. Mentally, I am a millionaire. And right now, my account, my bank account is not there, but it's going to catch up. The doctor, the doctor told me that I am allergic to failing. I am allergic to giving up. And honestly, I've been making it a habit to read that quote every day ever since I've seen it. And it made a huge impact on me. Like, when you really put yourself as what you see, like, it's not even a matter of being cocky or delusional or whatever. When you tell yourself mentally you're going to do something, and like I said, your mentality is everything. You sit up and tell yourself you can't, what's the ultimate result? You're not, you're going to feel like you can't do it. You're not going to have that that confidence in yourself and don't get me wrong everything i do i'm not the most confident in actually i'd be confident but i'd be nervous i'm just good at hiding my emotions i'll be the most nervous thing in the world but i'd be knowing you got to take that risk to grow mentally when you see yourself as whatever you see yourself me personally i see myself as that performer i see myself continuing my mother's legacy because I want to do it, so I don't want nobody to think I'm just doing it just because of her. This is all because this is my calling. I feel it in my heart. I'm not doing everything like my mom. At the same time, a lot of people that know me, and that's even just tuning in and starting to figure out who I am. Amira is her own person. Yeah, I'm talking about myself in third person. Amira is her own person. They see qualities that's like my mama, but I'm my own person. I don't act exactly like my mom. But it's a lot of things I do take from my mom, like her hustle, how she networked and stuff. And moving forward, that same mentality with that quote that I read, I'm seeing myself as that performer, that big influencer. I want to help. I want to do... This is a passion, y'all. This is something I honestly love to do. I love to do this YouTube stuff. I like. I love to do music. And then also, we got to be serious. Look at the other side, too. Like, you also want to bring money in. This is not all about the money. Like I said, it's passion. With my passion, I want to be able to make money off of it and take care of my family. But they don't got to worry about nothing. So, starting today, whatever you see yourself as, I want you to wake up. And throughout the day, I don't care what happens to you, what brought you down, whatever is your inside internal battle with yourself. Keep visioning yourself. Whatever you see yourself in the future. You want to be that doctor? Vision yourself in that office every day. You want to be a performer? Vision yourself on that stage every day. When I go to the gym and I be feeling like I can't do it, which I really don't feel like going right now, but I feel like I want to share this story and vent with y'all what's going on with me because I feel like it can help somebody, you know? And just go for it. When I'm up there on that treadmill, I be tired. A lot of times I be like, I'm tired. I want to go home. I don't feel like doing this. But then I remember the bigger picture of what I'm doing. I need to have stamina to perform on stage. I need to, on the other side of working out, this helping me have mental clarity. This helping me get rid of some stress. This is, that's, me. after I'm done working out, I feel the greatest. I feel the greatest. I feel way more motivated. My my head is more into the game. Meanwhile, that day that I that day that I chose not to go, even though I really should have, because I didn't feel like it, my emotions not the best. When when I actually push myself to do stuff that I don't want to do but I know I need to do, I feel great afterwards. I feel like I accomplished a lot. I feel like I keep my mentality with that ever since now. I push myself a little bit harder every time I go to the gym. Okay, I'd be like, you told, yourself, you told yourself to do 40 reps, let's do 5 more, 10 more, 20 more, whatever the case may be. 
And I feel great once I do it because I just accomplished something I thought I just didn't want to do. I thought I physically couldn't do. I'm pushing weights that I never thought I could do. I'm doing YouTube and I've been, and I used to be the shyest girl. This is stuff that I never thought I would do. So moving forward, vision yourselves as what y'all want to become and move from there. Whatever you do, vision yourself, everything you do every day as that person you want to become. Thank you guys for tuning in and way more great content is on the way. Make sure you like, like and subscribe and peace.